single time, you're going to have to create your own triangle. Now, I gave you guys a basic representation of a triangle of what we call an oblique triangle over here. But what we saw from the last problem is it doesn't have to be all acute. You could have an obtuse oblique triangle, right? That last one had an had a obtuse angle. This one has an obtuse angle. So they don't all have to look like this. But that's just a way that I like to visualize. And so if I'm going to draw this, so I always like to draw. So therefore, I can visualize what I'm looking at. So I see that I do have a ratio here. I have A and A, and I have B, so I can solve for sine of B, correct? Yes? yes? But remember, this is a side-side angle. So therefore, this is an ambiguous case. So therefore, it's possible for me to have one triangle, no triangles, or two triangles, which would be that second case solution, which I kind of talked about over there. Um, so when we're using the ambiguous case, I prefer to flip the ratio. So therefore, my angles are up top. So I'd say sine of 36 degrees all over 2 is equal to the sine of b all over 7. If you want to use the ratio I did last time, that's perfectly fine. It just takes a little extra math to solve. But I like solving for b because all I have to do now is just multiply by 7 on both sides, right? It just makes life a little bit easier. So I can say the sine of b is equal to 7 times the sine of 36 degrees all over 2. Now, that is what the sine of b is equal to, the sine of b. So we don't want to solve for the sine of b. We need to solve for b. So how do we undo sine? You do sine inverse. Now, we can solve for this first, and I'll just kind of explain this. So let's do this first. Sine 7 times the sine of 36, close the parentheses, divided by 2. And what I get is sine of b equals 2.0572483. And what I told you guys is if you, I would prefer to use the answer function, which when I go over problems again today, I'll practice showing you what to type in the calculator. But all you simply need to do now is you could retype this whole problem in there. Or on a graphing calculator, you can simply just type second inverse because b equals sine inverse of that answer. So to take that whole answer, you could either type it in, or you can just do second answer, which is right by the Enter button at the bottom, which I'll show again up there. And you see that there's an error. What that means is that no triangle can exist. And the reason why is because 2 is so short, you can't even create a triangle. OK? Yes? So when you're talking about the calculator, you would do an answer to the right column, and then you get the answer, and then you would do the right Yeah, I mean, you could do if you wanted to. I'll show you, um, I'll show you in the calculator. You could do sine inverse of 7 times sine of 36. Mm -hmm. Divided by 2. You just need to be very careful with your parentheses. Okay? So you could type it all in. Absolutely. 